In this video, I will show you how to power level from level 1 to 56 in Black Desert Online in 5 hours or less. Now let's get it. What's going on? I'm Oz99 and if this is your first time here, then subscribe and hit that bell icon for more videos on BDO. Before we get into the method that I use personally, and I noticed that it works really, really efficiently, there are a few things you must have before even attempting this method. A plus 15 weapon for the class that you're going to be leveling up will be your first priority, which can be easily purchased at the marketplace for about 15 to 17 million silver. If silver is something you struggle with, then check out my last video on how to make money in BDO in the card above. It will basically cover everything you need to know to make a quick 16 to 17 million silver so you can purchase that plus 15 weapon. Once you have your weapon, you want to make sure you have your daily buffs ready as well and any other necessary buffs as well. So for example, you would need the two buffs, which are dailies, daily blood frenzy and faster and stronger. They're basically going to be used towards the end when you're trying to level from 55 to 56, but they're super important and they're going to make the grinding process a lot easier. You're also going to want to make sure you use extra combat XP scrolls. They actually can be attained through completing story missions or the pearl shop, but I will only got mine from uh, story missions because I'm not really about to spend real money for some XP, at least not now. And depending on how many you have, you're going to want to keep this buff on as much as possible. It's just an easy 50% extra on your XP gain. And don't forget about your Black Spirit buff, which gives you 20% XP for 30 minutes. This buff can be used as often as your energy can regenerate because it does use its 50 energy per use. Now, the other two XP boosts you may want to utilize are the XP bells that are popped by players at random times and the nighttime XP that happens from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. in game time. These are pretty situational and should only be focused on once you're getting towards level 56 because that's when you're going to need all the XP boosts that you can get to make the uh, last level feel less like a huge and miserable grind. And that's really all you're going to need to make the level up process as smooth and fast as possible. Some of the boosts you really don't need or don't really have to prioritize but it does help but the plus 15 weapon is pretty much mandatory if you're going to want to replicate this method and actually survive and make it you know an easy going time for yourself now my method is pretty much simple and I use this for literally every character that I have to level up when you are first starting out go through the story until you have finished the tutorial you will know this once you are able to place a marker on the map using a right mouse button once you clear that you are going to want to head to the blood monastery make sure you head to the top of the monastery where you'll find the bulk of the mobs to kill you will probably want to grind here until about level 35. From there you want to move to Chimeras. This spot is perfect for grinding because all you have to do is start at the bottom of the hill and work your way up to the top. But don't forget about the two mobs hidden behind the trees. I recommend not going past the gate because the mobs there are actually too spaced out and just makes the grinding process longer than it should be. Once you reach level 45 or 46 depending on how you're feeling, you can now head to Catfish. Now be careful here because the mobs here do hit pretty hard. I do recommend using all the gold you accumulated through leveling up to this point to buy some plus 15 granil so you can be a little bit more tanky. You're going to be grinding here until you hit level 49. Once you reach 49, you will receive a quest from your Black Spirit. You must complete this quest in order to reach level 50. It takes about a minute or so to complete, plus the location is at Catfish, so in the end, everything works out. Once you completed this quest, you're going to want to head to Hounds for your last six levels. Once you get to level 54 or 55, you're going to want to make sure you have all your buffs popped. But I will only do this though if you have a real smooth rotation going on and no one is contesting you. If this is happening, like someone's actually contesting you, then I will recommend going to abandon iron mines or mains. But otherwise, I would try your best to stick with helms if you can because you can get your azulas and it's a really good spot to stack up some money if you're killing golems at the same time. Now, let me know in the comment section below what class you guys are going to be leveling up. I'm actually really curious. And if this video helped you at all, then leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm Ozzy and I'm out.